Hey everyone, Revan here, and welcome back to episode 6 of Stoneblock 2, where today we're going to get on track and start working towards that draconic armor. So sit back, enjoy the video, and let's see what we can't get done. Alright, so reason number one why I want to get into draconic armor and that would be specifically because we need to go and fight the ender chicken fairly soon here we're gonna need some of the ingredients from the ender chicken to get into project e uh and so i also figure because we're currently needing nether stars uh you know it's a good excuse to also get into the draconic armor so what i've done in between episodes um i switched this guy up over here to be a mob crusher instead of the mob slaughterhouse i'm sorry the mob slaughter factory i always get that <laughs> get those two mixed up uh primarily so that i can be getting essence here uh it's only been running for a little bit so we only have like three thousand buckets which we're gonna burn through really quickly and i've made this little room right over here so that we can actually uh eh, we'll, we'll we'll hook up the uh the slaughter factory first before we actually you know dig out anymore but i'm gonna put a mob duplicator inside of here i already went and opened up our mob farm in the back and did get a imprisonment tool with a wither skeleton inside of it and of course that's just with the witch water inside of a normal mob farm and it turns the skeletons into wither skeletons so we currently only have 2,500 uh, wither skulls, and that's just what we've been collecting on our farm. So I figure we give ourselves a little bit of a boost to that since we're going to need a, a decent amount of nether stars. Now, once we get into EMC, you know, we can shut all this stuff down mainly because of the fact that, you know, nether stars are, have an EMC value to them, so we can just dupe them. But I do want to grab... Let's grab this guy right here and we're gonna need to grab our mob slaughter factory Let's see we have that we're gonna need some energy conduits and how much of the ender stuff do we have left we only have 36 i'm hoping that's gonna be enough to get all the way all the way over there and do i want to change the the barrels around i mean the barrels are pretty much already full uh, i might hook up this one right here the liquid meat just because of the fact that my meat feeder does occasionally run out and you know it's nice to have something something to fill it up with but i'm not horribly worried about it now as far as these blocks in here i think step one is going to be hook this guy up and see what the range is going to be on him so let's see we need range upgrade. Let's go for a three. Actually, let's uh, let's go for a two to begin with and, and see what that does. We can always put vec vector plates in here to kind of get them closer if we need them. So working area, yeah, it'll just kill anything in here. So if we just put the line of vector plates around the outside, they'll just be forced into the center here and they'll die instantly we don't really need this room too big because like i said we're just going to be spawning them in and you know not too much to worry about over there let's grab ourselves a mob duplicator which i think we have to make uh mob duplicator so we're gonna need some emerald magma cream uh machine casing nether wart i'm not sure how much of the stuff we don't we don't have magma cream but we can make it and what else were we missing just the the casing so we make one of these guys yes we can all right so the mob duplicator now i will be the first one to admit i have not used the mob duplicator all too often uh main reason being is i usually don't farm essence to be completely honest with you and you know because this, this is not only going to be taking RF, but it's going to be taking the mob essence to actually get these guys going. So let's turn this on. Let's turn you off. 
and let's take a range add-on of two and see what that does so that's going to spawn everything within this area right here which actually should work out fairly well i don't care if it spawns on top it has enough room and it'll die instantly so yeah let's just grab another range upgrade number two There we go. Then we're going to need some fluid pipes. Yeah, man, my spelling tonight is <laughs> horrible. All right. So we'll take this range add on, toss you in there. We can turn you off and we'll get to digging ourselves a little bit of a tunnel here so that we can run the pipes. All right. So we have run our fluid cable over from our essence tank over here as well as the power cable uh so now all i really have to do is fill this stuff in just so there's no room for anything to spawn and then just kind of figure out a decoration for that room so i'm gonna get that stuff done and i will be right back all right so for the blocks what i think i'm gonna try to use here is just these regular black blocks i kind of feel like just doing the entire room so it looks like it's uh Hopefully, it just looks like it's kind of like a black hole here. Uh, these blocks aren't quite as black as I thought they would be, so I'm kind of concerned as to how it's going to look, but we're going to give it a try. And I just made these with this color block crafter. As long as you have cobblestone and some sort of dye, it'll give you different choices of blocks that you can make. So since I just have cobblestone and ink, uh, it's only showing the black, but let's say if I were to come over here and let's just say grab some lapis and go like that, I would then have all these different shades of blocks since I have, you know, a mix of the black and the blues. So it's, it's a pretty cool mod and I've never really used it before. So, uh, let's see what it can do. And there is the final block. So it doesn't look too horrible and i kind of have a feeling uh once we actually take uh, the light sources off and turn on put on the light glass or the dark the <laughs> once we put the dark tinted glass in the front here it'll actually look quite a lot better so let's see if we have any more of that so dark clear glass we have 27 blocks we're gonna need a little bit more all right so that'll make us hopefully all the glass that we need and then we're gonna need a few factory blocks the sturdy ones just because i don't want the glass going all the way to the top here all right so hopefully that is more than enough so let's take you out you out and then we'll just start tossing this in here and we do need to leave ourselves an opening so that we can we can get ourselves the uh in into the actual mob duplicator all right we already have that one thing that i am thinking about here is turning that on and off so we only have one of those left make some more of this redstone conduit here uh we're out of the uh the redstone alloy ingots so da, 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 da. Sil more silicone and redstone 32 should be more than enough for what we need here and where do we want to put this i think we can put our lever right here and then we can just kind of dig yet another hole <laughs> getting i'm getting very good at digging holes here Make sure I'm facing the right direction. All right, so toss you on, bring this through. We do need to get into here. So we're going to have to select this to output strong signal and just have this come down here. One thing I always love about modded is like the moment you finish kind of decorating a build is the moment you have to tear it all up again because you forget something. So shift right click, I'm sorry, shift left click and we can select up 
and we can have this be the input and color is red and then this one output color is green let's just change that over to red too i'm not 100 percent sure it matters but we'll just change it anyways and then where is the blocks that we need so fill these guys in Now, if we take our, uh, turn you off. <laughs> All right. So once we close everything up here, no light gets in, turn this off. And it just looks like a nice dark room. And then if we hit the lever, we can start spawning in wither skeletons. And I don't want the mob factory because that's not going to pick up drops. So we actually need to uh, hook up a mob crusher. I had forgotten about that. Oh, come on. Really? Was not nice, mister. Was not nice. All right. So let's take this mob crusher here and actually hook up the correct, the correct machine and see if that helps us out just a little bit here. All right, now we can put this back on. We can put our tier two upgrade on just to verify it sees everything cool. Then we also need some of the vector plates to push them into the center. I think we have, should have a few left. We have, yeah, let's just grab the fast ones. We should have enough to go around the exterior here. And Start on this side since we have to exit there anyways. So with these things, if you don't know, if you hold shift as you're walking over them or crouch, whatever you have your, your key bind to, uh, they won't actually affect you. But if you let go, boop, boop, it's uh yeah, it's fun times. Not as fun with just a single one, but once you have a whole room full of them, it's uh it can get a little bit frustrating if you forget about that. All right, so you are always active and rate it range add on and your power all right now let's turn you on and see you do your thing and if we look down here we are going to be getting wither skeleton skulls which is what we want everything else uh, i don't care about we have our normal mob farms to collect all that good stuff let's toss you guys in here and let's grab a trash can. And then let's also grab ourselves, uh, what is it? A drawer? Yeah. <laughs> drawer and grab some storage upgrades. I don't think we'll ever get to that point, but let's see, need item conduits. And do we have any speed upgrades? Yes, we do. We only need 15. Try that again. All right. We'll try that again and again and again. All right. So we're going to put that there and we'll put the drawer here. We'll put our conduit in and we'll say insert. And then we'll up the priority to so we make sure that we get everything that we want let's grab ourselves a skull here we'll toss it in and then you are going to be insert no priority and then extract always active so this should get our wither skeleton skulls and this should get everything else uh, the only thing we are going to really need to worry about is going to be the xp because as you can see uh this actually does drop xp all right, and then I think what we can do right here, since we don't really care too much about the light level in there, is we can just hook this XP vacuum up. And hopefully that will pick up all of the XP that's in there, even though it doesn't seem to... All right, so we need a bucket of liquid XP before we can do that. I wonder if solidified XP will do it. I 
have a feeling I'm just going to click this into my own hotbar, but... Oop. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can make a tank. All right, so we actually had to make ourselves a magma crucible here, uh, just so that we could get a bucket of liquid XP. We have enough solidified XP to... Uh... Oh, it's an essence. I think we're going to have to make a fluid dictionary converter. So let's see here. Um, what can I do with this? I can toss this... into a fluid dictionary converter and I can change it into liquid XP, I think. I mean, this is going to be helpful anyways, because when we pump out the liquid XP, we can actually pump it into a essence tank. I'm sorry, a dictionary converter and turn that back into essence to continue to power the farm. So almost, almost be self fed here. Uh, let's see, do we have what we need for this? Actually, let's do the simpler version and just do the simple machine machine chassis since we don't actually have to make anything there. Then we just need an iron gear. And fluid dictionary converter. All right. Let's just try you and where is our bucket? All right, so we have liquid xp over there and now we hit this <laughs> now it should finally actually be collecting our xp and then we'll just take this black hole unit set it up there we'll grab ourselves a cup of uh, fluid conduits this is uh turning out to be a lot more work than i was expecting it just to get this always active insert so now we have liquid XP going into there and that should be picking up everything else. So we're already up to 14 weather skeleton skulls. We have our XP, which we can, if we choose to switch back over to essence and well, we could just kind of pump it back down into the actual, uh, uh, the farm over there, but let's see how we're holding up on essence over here. So we're still above 3000, so that's good. I mean, eventually it's gonna wear out, but once we run out of that, like I said, we can just convert the, uh, the experience that we have here. And now, am I actually able to, so I'm not able to put this in here. Yep, nope, not at all. All right, so long story short, the whole reason that we're doing this is so that we can automate withers and we want to automate withers so that we can get the nether stars so we can make the draconic armor so we can fight the ender chicken so that we can get into emc so yeah i think we got a good start to it at least so after a little bit more of working around i did end up running our black hole tank here into the fluid dictionary converter and so it is converting the liquid XP into essence and then feeding that back down into the mob duplicator. However, uh, in between takes right there, I, I did end up having to AFK overnight. Well, basically because, you know, I need to sleep every once in a while, but we ended up running out of essence and the farm pretty much shut itself down. So as our setup is right now, we're not actually able to keep this running indefinitely. Uh, one of the issues that I found that I think may have an, uh, come into play with it is the fact that the mobs seem to stop spawning and I'll need to actually shut the pack down and restart it. So uh, I noticed that I was over there fiddling around with cows earlier trying to get our start into it. And I came in here and we just sat here for like five minutes and nothing was spawning. So... I shut the pack down, restarted it, and they started spawning again properly. So not really sure what that's about, but uh, we did manage to get ourselves another 1200 Wither Skulls. So those in conjunction with uh, about 2,500, I think, that we have down in our mob farm, we should, you know, be able to at least make enough Nether Stars to where we don't have to worry about it. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get into 
fully automating the wither um in this episode but i do want to get into creating the room where we're going to do that and what i want for that is compact machines um i believe that's what they're called yeah so compact machines so if you're not unfamiliar with this mod what it is is essentially you are creating a depending upon the size of the compact machine you make a another dimension with a limited space to it so i think like the largest one you can make is 15 by 15 by 15 uh and you can it takes up the size of one block you can put it in your wall or something like that click on it and it'll kind of warp you into another dimension i like using those especially in either sky blocks or areas where you're kind of really confined because if i were to set up the automated wither and something were to go wrong i would have hundreds of withers flying around my base and it would pretty much cause me to rage quit and never play this pack again so i don't want to do that so we need to get into compact machines now there's a couple things that we need to get into it straight off the bat the first is these miniaturization field projectors we're going to need four of these one to go on each of one of the cardinal directions, and that's gonna kind of set up our working area to build these machines. So we're gonna need a personal shrinking device, which is just gonna be a book, some glass panes, ender pearls, and iron. We got that done. Let's actually make some more glass panes real quick because we are gonna need one of these guys for personal use outside of the crafting. And then we're just gonna need eye vendor, redstone torch, and a couple diamonds. So let's grab these guys. We have our building blocks that we can use. And in order to build the compact machines, uh, depending upon the size you want, you click on this, it'll show you, you need 26 of the walls and an ender pearl to toss on it to actually start the transformation. For the different sizes, you may need other things like this is 26 blocks. So it's a three by three by three block hollow on the inside and with an iron block directly in the center of the of the build itself and then if you go all the way up to the maximum compact machine uh you're gonna need 98 of the walls and one block of emerald and of course the ender pearl to start it off so to actually get these walls what we're gonna need are iron blocks and redstone so for one iron block and one piece of red well technically two pieces of redstone i'll show you why i say two in a sec you'll end up getting 16 compact machine walls. So let's grab us up some iron and some redstone. All right. So now we have iron and redstone. We just need to grab a lever. We don't need to. I just like doing it. Not a level, a lever. There we go. And let's head downstairs. All right. So we are down in our little basement doohickey down here, which I still really haven't. <laughs> done a whole lot of work and I started working on the corridors and and uh the flight energistics room over here but I really haven't done much else um in order to set this up uh there are a couple different ways that you can set it up depending upon the size you want uh but realistically all you need is a five by five working area so when you set everything up the projectors need to show you know a five by five area uh, I'll show you what that looks like in one sec. We'll just, I put these torches down to kind of indicate where we want the blocks to be. So we'll toss those four high and hopefully that'll be good enough. Now we also need to clear the working area of any torches. Otherwise it, uh, <laughs> it won't work. All right. And then once we get on top of these, or once we get our pillars done, we need to then place down our our pads. And if you look, when you're holding it, it'll show you which direction it's placing. So if I face that direction, it'll face that way and so on and so forth. So I wanna put it down right here. Uh, and then if I click on it, it'll say missing opposite field projector requires to determine. So that means I gotta come over here and you'll see the arrows and it'll show you all the different locations of where you can put, place the field projector. All right, so after some trial and error and having to move things around, uh, they're all set up at the correct distance. However, if I click on it now, it is saying invalid block in field area. And that is more than likely due to that torch. And let's see what it says now. So still saying that there's a torch in the area. Is it, uh, there we go. It was this torch right on the edge. So 
we now have our space and we're obviously we're going to have to figure out something maybe like a piece of glowstone or something like that in the center to try to eliminate this last spot that we have over here we might actually just be able to yeah that'll work <laughs> it's not pretty but it'll work all right so in order to make these blocks uh and the reason i said to bring down a lever before we get to that is because we can go like this and we can just sh shut it off so you don't if you don't want the field projector on you can just turn it on and off um so we got to put the iron block directly in the center and then hit it with a piece of redstone and then just step outside of the four <laughs> of the field projector and toss your redstone in and that will create us some of these compact walls now again we need what was it 96 or was it 98 it was 98 so we need 98 one piece of em one emerald block and one ender pearl uh, and then we'll be able to make the full size block so let's just make the rest of the walls that we need and then we'll assemble the actual uh, compact machine All right, so we should have more than enough of the compact machines. Now I will just kind of as a, uh, as a PSA note, you can actually automate this and it's, it's not horribly difficult. Now in order to automate the, the, the walls and the blocks themselves, all you really need is an RF tools, uh, dimension or RF tools builder with a spatial dimensional, uh, card. And what you do is you make the, the, the holograms, uh, actually before I say what the stuff is, let me actually look it up. Okay. So you need a space chamber controller block, and then you also need space chamber corner blocks. Uh, so what you would do is you would set one of these guys up in like a, uh, a seven by seven block. You would build your compact cube inside of that. And then you would save that with a uh, with one of your shape cards, and then put that into a builder with obviously a chest with all the materials in it, and set that up to a timer. And you could actually knock these things out one after another. Uh, most times you don't need to do that because, as you saw, it doesn't take very long to get it. But I have played packs where they want you to have like you know, a thousand of these things and doing it manually is, is not pleasant. So, uh, it, it can come in handy in this case, we don't need it. So we'll just continue on with actually building the cube itself or the machine. So for the maximum size one, uh, you need to have a five by five platform. And you're just building yourself a five by five cube. All right, so once you have actually ensured that everything is within the holographic field here and you've built the outside of your box, again, the boxes are always gonna be hollow except for the specific block that it wants in it. And it doesn't really specify. However, that block needs to go in the, the direct center of the cube. So you need to place a block, break, you know, then place your emerald or your iron or whatever it is on top of that, and then break that block. And then you can close it in. Once we close it in, we just come to the outside here and we toss our ender pearl in and it will start working and form us our first and Hopefully, you know, one of few compact machines we actually need to make. All right, there we go. We have our compact machine. Now we'll just break that. I don't even know why that's there. 
Uh, let's head back up to our machine room. So once you actually have your compact machine built and you determine a place that you want to put it, uh, in our case, you know, we want it to be somewhat close to the wither skulls and everything like that. So we'll just dig a hole here and we can place the machine inside. Then if we take our personal shrinking device, remember we made two earlier, one to actually make the, the field projectors and one for personal use. We just click on this guy and we are transported into our own little dimension here. Uh, let's see, let's just put down some torches just for the sake of putting down torches. I don't think mobs will normally spawn here and I think this is actually a glitch right here. Uh, so let's turn that off. But within, within this uh, compact dimension, you can pretty much build whatever you want. I normally like using them for uh, things like mystical agriculture farms and stuff like that because you know, mystical agriculture, particularly, especially when you combine it with agricraft and stuff like that, can be pretty leg uh, inducing. And if you bring it into one of here, this will stay loaded as long as the chunk in your base is loaded. However, you won't get any of the leg that uh, you normally would if you were to come in here. So for us, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this to make ourselves an automated wither killer. But we're going to have to wait until next episode to do that. Uh, so what we're going to do first off is we are going to, let's just pick this corner right here. We are going to shift and right click and that will save our entry point. So anytime that we come into this compact cube, we'll actually spawn right here. That's going to be important later on when we actually get stuff built. We don't want to be spawning inside of our wither killer because that, that, that won't be fun. And then if you want to leave, you just click on the wall, right click on the wall. And we are now out. But unfortunately, we're out of time for this video. So as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, if you stick around for the next video, when we automate our withers and get a little bit further into Draconic Evolution, I'd appreciate it. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like my content, please subscribe. It does help me out greatly. And as always, guys, stay awesome, be safe, and we'll see you guys next time.